From the KATC Weatherland, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a spring like day across Acadiana today, and we got more of the same through half of the day tomorrow. Then by this time tomorrow afternoon and evening, turning quite brisk, much cooler with a pretty good chance of rain and uh, some embedded thunderstorms mixed in between. And after that, certainly a winter like scenario and the sky stay gray. We got more rain on the way as we head into Wednesday. Details on the aforementioned coming up in the next three minutes and 25 seconds, roughly right around there. So let's get to it. We see our frontal boundary showing up quite nicely across the lower 48. We ha have uh, this nice linear front. Uh, the threat of severe weather mainly to our north this evening uh, from Oklahoma up to Missouri for storms that could produce some straight line winds. Backside of the center, this uh, low pressure center and frontal boundary producing some nice snows across the Midwest heading for Wisconsin and then eventually portions of the Great Lakes as well. Meanwhile, locally we've had some Breaks in the clouds that allowed temperatures to reach 79 to 80 across a good part of Acadiana this afternoon. Some rain showing up on the radar, mainly to the west of us back across southeast Texas. And as we take a look at powered up for HD, most of that shower activity will stay confined to southwest Louisiana, but will include about a 20% chance of a passing shower overnight tonight through tomorrow. And then rain chances really beginning to ramp up right around lunchtime from the northwest to the southeast for tomorrow afternoon. 72 degrees right now. Look at the dew point at 67 and a south wind. That means it's going to be a mild night. Maybe some fog in the mix, but with mostly cloudy skies, I think it's going to be mostly light fog. Temperatures so you can see reaching the upper 70s this afternoon. Now most of us in the lower 70s. Meanwhile, conditions offshore not too bad through tomorrow, but watch out behind this front. Small craft advisory and strong and gusty northerly winds and increasing seas will be likely. Here's the visibility product on our future cast right around a half mile through tomorrow morning, so we don't think we're going to see too many areas of thick fog, but we'll have to watch those trends and we'll update you tonight at 10. Meanwhile, as we look at our future cast, we stay mostly cloudy through tomorrow morning. Here's that frontal boundary showing up with rain and some embedded thunder likely along this front. Maybe some pretty cool looking clouds, maybe a shelf cloud or two as this frontal boundary will be marking much cooler air that's going to be following it. As we go to this time tomorrow evening, just mostly cloudy. A few showers will linger, but we're going to see a just stream that's going to be oriented uh, going into Wednesday that will be favorable uh, for a southwest flow aloft and a disturbance or two. So we're going to go with periods of rain per the European model on Wednesday for sure with chilly temperatures and breezy north winds. Man, it's going to feel and look like winter on Wednesday, at least winter for Acadiana. No frozen precips. Sorry about that. Cloudy skies linger Thursday and then another disturbance comes in Friday night into Saturday morning. That's when the coldest air will be moving on in through Saturday evening. So the chilliest will be sa Sunday morning and then a gradual warm up as we go into next week. It's unclear whether this next frontal boundary, which is going to keep the northeast in the deep freeze, whether we see a touch of that or not, but uh, certainly milder temperatures early next week. Rainfall wise, a half inch to an inch of rain tomorrow, then another half inch to inch of rain we think on Wednesday. So it will say one to two, uh, not expecting any flooding issues nor any severe weather threats. So temperatures tonight mid to upper 60s tomorrow. You see that front will be in the mid 70s through early tomorrow afternoon and then drop into the 50s and eventually the 40s for Wednesday morning. Look at the wind chill, lower 40s, perhaps even upper 30s in spots and temperatures don't budge during the day. Wednesday will stay in the 40s and more than likely stay in the 40s through much of Thursday as well. So mild night ahead, 66 year low, just a few passing showers tomorrow. Mild early with showers and storms midday into the afternoon hours and then breezy and cooler thereafter. That 78 is going to be misleading, so bring jackets and sweaters to work or school tomorrow. Rain chances stay a dreary day on Wednesday. Temperatures may not get out of the 40s until we see the sun, and that's going to be Friday, but then we start to chill down at night. But we'll see lots of sunshine and nice and cool temperatures for this weekend.